Good morning. Good morning. Welcome back to Coffee and the Word, where we have God's Word with a cup of joe. So here we go. Oh, that's good. I'm having it's donut shop coffee. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I hope and pray you're all doing well this morning. You have that one here that, eh, oh well. Uh, let's see, we're going to Psalms, and then Isaiah, and then back to the uh, book of Romans. So, all right. Well, happy Friday. Hope everybody's doing good. Uh, we're going to start off with uh, Psalm 29. And as always, may God bless the reading of his word. So here we go. Ascribe to the Lord, O heavenly beings. Ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. Ascribe to the Lord the glory due his name. Worship the Lord in the splendor of holiness. The voice of the Lord is over the waters. The God of glory thunders. The Lord over many waters. The voice of the Lord is powerful. The voice of the Lord is full of majesty. The voice of the Lord breaks the cedars. The Lord breaks the cedars of Lebanon. He makes Lebanon to skip like a calf, and Syrian like a young wild ox. The voice of the Lord flashes forth flames of fire. The voice of the Lord shakes the wilderness. The Lord shakes the wilderness of Kadesh. The voice of the Lord makes the deer give birth and strips the forest bare. And in his temple all cry, Glory! The Lord sits enthroned over the flood. The Lord sits enthroned as king forever. May the Lord give strength to his people. May the Lord bless his people with peace. Amen. Amen. All right. Next we're going to Isaiah. Going to Isaiah chapter 2, verses 1 through 5. The word that Isaiah, the son of Amos, saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem. It shall come to pass in the latter days that the mountain of the house of the Lord shall be established as the highest of the mountains and shall be lifted up above the hills and all the nations shall, follow, shall flow to it and many peoples shall come and say, Come, let us go up to the mountain of the Lord to the house of the God of Jacob, that he may teach us his ways, and that we may walk in his paths. For out of Zion shall go forth the law, and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. He shall judge between the nations, and shall decide disputes for many peoples. And they shall beat their swords into plowshares, and their spears into pruning hooks. Nations shall not lift up sword against nation, neither Shall they learn war any more? O house of Jacob, come, let us walk in the light of the Lord. Amen. I'm going to turn this one this way. All right. Get a little more, a little more Joe here. Oh. Next, we're going to Romans chapter 8, verses 9 through 11. And real quick on the epistles, Pastor Randy has been teaching a class on the epistles. And um, Pastor Randy, if you're watching, I need to get that last one uploaded to YouTube. It's on Facebook, uh, but it's a very good uh, study on the epistles. So that's worth checking out. It's on the YouTube channel. You'll see it in another channel on there. So Romans chapter 8, verses 9 through 11. You, however, are not in the flesh but in the Spirit, if in fact the Spirit of God dwells in you. Anyone who does not have the Spirit of Christ does not belong to Him. But if Christ is in you, although the body is dead because of sin, the Spirit of life because of righteousness, if the Spirit of Him who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, He who raised Christ Jesus from the dead will also give life to your mortal bodies through, the, through His Spirit who dwells in you. Amen. Amen. And this is the word of the Lord. Next we'll go to the Pray Now app. 
for the prayer of the day. So here we go. Here it is. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you reign among us by the preaching of your cross. Forgive your people their offenses that we, being governed by your bountiful goodness, may enter at last into your eternal paradise. For you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. All right. Well, I hope and pray that you all have a fantastic day. Happy Friday, all that good stuff. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and sign off. Let me find the off button here. So I'm going to go ahead and sign off. So be safe, be happy, and be blessed. And we'll see you tomorrow on Coffee in the Word. God bless. Bye-bye.